Hurricane Milton had an extraordinary day in the western Gulf of Mexico on Monday. It explosively strengthened from a Category 1 storm to a Category 5 storm in less than half a day. And it's rapidly approaching the Tampa Bay region. The question that many were asking this week was, how has a second hurricane of such strength spun up in the Gulf of Mexico only weeks after Hurricane Helene caused such damage across the southeast? Take a look at this chart. It shows a metric called ocean heat content. It's an estimate of how much thermal energy is stored in the water from the surface down below to depth as well. The red line shows ocean heat content across the entire Gulf of Mexico. The average from 2013 to 2023 shows this hump, but 2024 is sitting comfortably above it for most of the year so far. In the past year and a half, we've seen a level of warmth in much of the Atlantic, including the Gulf of Mexico, that scientists are having a hard time fully explaining. What really matters for hurricanes is the temperature right at the surface. That's where the storm is interacting with the ocean. That's where the air and the ocean are mixing. In a really violent storm, the surface is sort of coming almost a fine mist. What happens down below is also important though as well, because when you have these powerful winds mixing up the water, usually that can cool the water down at the surface because the water down below is cooler, it gets mixed up to the top. But if you have a lot of heat in the ocean, not just at the surface, but below as well, then you get less of this cooling in the wake of a hurricane. Rapid intensification is when a hurricane gains a lot of strength really quickly. What matters is just that you have conditions that are favorable to a hurricane gaining strength. So you have warm ocean water, you have winds in the air that are sort of conducive to allowing a hurricane to form without obstructions. When all those pieces come together, you can get a hurricane explode in strength like Milton did on Monday. Milton formed in the western part of the Gulf and where you did have a high concentration of heat at the surface. Helene, as it traveled over the eastern Gulf of Mexico a few weeks ago, also underwent a similarly rapid intensification from category one to category four. Rapid intensification is something that's pretty difficult for hurricane forecasters to predict very well. One thing scientists do have some confidence in, although this is still an area of open research, is that rapid intensification is becoming more common. It matters just because it can really ramp up the threat to coastal communities in a really short amount of time. It gives them less time to prepare, to board up homes, to evacuate, to get ready for the full force of a storm. 